Hey y'all, we're packing up to head home. We're going back to Texas, leaving Oklahoma. But before we go, I wanted to do real quick, take you guys around the cabin and show you where we've been for the last few days. Let's take a little look. It's the front of the cabin. Super cute and quaint. Let me step back so that you can see it a little bit better. There you go. It's nice and cozy, just what we look for whenever we come to a place like this. Here's the property in front of the cabin. Lots of big trees. There's the hubsters loading up the big van. All right, let's go ahead and take a step in. So this place is called Hooten Holler is the name of the cabin. And so the theme throughout the cabin is owls and you will see it everywhere. And it's kind of cute, but then it got a little creepy because it's like the owls are all staring at you. Um, when you walk in, here's the living room, nice and big. It was great for the kids. We could cook in the kitchen and the kids could play in here. We put down a big blanket for Carson, my six month old, and he played with toys over here. Um, the fireplace is beautiful, big TV. Nice and spacious and clean. Again, this is like after we've already been here for a few days, so the beds aren't made and stuff, but you can still get the point of what it looks like. One of the bedrooms. And this is the bathroom and the dog drinking out of the toilet. Brady! <laughs> this is the bathroom when you walk in. See the owls? They're everywhere, guys, they're everywhere. Hello! Here's this cute guy that almost slipped. I got that on video. <laughs> Jim, don't be so, why are you so enthusiastic? Excited. Hey, um, the other keys? Do you have it? I don't have it. Those are my keys, right? Kitchen. They have everything you need. Coffee pots, knives, dishware, um, toasters, like all the typical stuff, fully stocked cabin kitchen type things usually have. But everything was very clean and all the cabinets were clean. I really like that. Sometimes you go to these places and there's like little crumbs everywhere. Okay, this is the owl that I felt like was always staring at me. Look at him. He's a little creepy, right? It's a little creepy. Okay, and then through the kitchen, you come back over this way. And this is a laundry room, which is really nice, especially with kids. We use this twice and wash clothes. We're going home with no dirty clothes, which is always nice. And this is the bedroom that we stayed in. The bed's nice and big, comfy. There's a TV in this room. I don't think I showed you, but there's a TV in the other room as well. And then let's take a look over at the closet. Nice and big. And how cute is this? They give you robes. We didn't use them because I'm a little weird about germs, but they're nice to have. Still felt nice up in the closet to see some little soft robes in there. And here's our bathroom. Again, an owl. Let's see. You're like just got out of the shower and you're putting your makeup on and you look down and it's like boo, boo, boo. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He's looking at you. But they're cute. They're cute. I get I get I get it. I get the owl thing. But you know. Okay. So that's pretty much the cabin. And I'll take you guys um, out to the property. It's raining right now, which is kind of nice that it rained the day that we're leaving. All right, here's the porch when you step out of the cabin. Nice grill. They have these really cute little chairs. They have some on the front as well. I think you saw those. And then the jacuzzi. We actually um, jacuzzied it up one night, which was really nice because the last two times we've had jacuzzis in our cabins, I've been pregnant and so I haven't been able to get in. But we um, we got in and this was nice. Really dark outside and the jacuzzi has lights um, inside of it, so it was kind of fun. And then here's the property behind the cabin. We did a bunch of fire pits over there. We never used the picnic table. You can't really tell from the video, but it kind of like leans, so it's not really easy to eat off of. And then I'm not gonna take you all the way around, but you can kind of see there's the playground over there, and then right in the middle, see this like long patch? That's a horseshoe, um, what do you call it? Like a place you play horseshoes? Yeah, we'll go with that. And then this right here is where they drop your wood off. And um, we had a really great time. We'll definitely come back to Broken Bow. Um, we usually go to Arkansas in the fall up in the Ozark Mountains. It is amazing. The foliage is amazing. And um, we like to do that. But with the little kids, it's hard sometimes to make the drive because to get really high up in the mountains, it's usually from Dallas, like an eight hour drive. 
So seeing as how we go to Colorado in the summer and that's a 14 hour drive, it was just a lot, you know, to do it. So we decided to try this this year and we really liked it. I think we will come back, but next year we're talking about trying out hot springs again. We've done it before in the past, but it's only four hours. So it's a little bit closer, but we still can get some of that really pretty fall foliage um, that takes place in Arkansas. So, but I think we will come back to, to Broken Bow. We really, really liked it. The hike we went on yesterday was beautiful. We really love the cabin. I love the cabin itself. I love the property around it. I would recommend it to people. So if you're thinking about checking out, checking out cabins, I'll leave a link to this one below. Also, um, I usually vlog when we go on this stuff, but it's just been hard with the kids and my mother-in-law's been here, so I just haven't done a lot of vlogging. Um, but be sure to check out the blog because I do have a lot of pictures. So I'll do pictures of kind of what we did while we were here to kind of give you some ideas. Um, I'll talk about the restaurants we went to and the hiking trails that we like, things like that. So if you're looking to plan a vacation, that will kind of help you. Um, so I do recommend it and I would come back but here's where I kind of say eh about. Usually when we pick a cabin, we really like to find one that's secluded. It's starting to rain, so let me go into the shade. Um, when we find a cabin, we really like to find one that's secluded. And um, this one's not so much. I mean, it is secluded, but the highway is just kind of, if you listen, you might even be able to hear some of the cars. You can't actually see it from the cabin, but it's close enough to where you can hear the big semi-trucks come by. That's kind of... A bummer and the other cabins that are around it are kind of close so let me show you um, this one right here and then this one right here um, when we're over here playing on the playground and we're down here by the fire pit I can hear everything they're saying and if there are people there I'm pretty sure they can hear everything we're saying um, but we got lucky we came during the week and so there was nobody around. There was somebody at the cabin directly behind us, but nobody at the one next to us. So we weren't fully surrounded by people. So if you were going to come, I would recommend trying to book during the week. I bet you it's not as busy during that time and your likelihood of kind of getting the place more to yourself um, is a little bit higher. So um, I would say that's the only downfall. It's really close to stuff. Like you can pop in town to a coffee shop. There's a grocery store close by. There's outdoor activities very close by. So that part of it's really great. I think it's really great for a family. If you've got little kids, this would be a great cabin for them. Um, and if you don't really mind having close by people close by, if that's not like a big thing to you, then, then, then forget that and come and have fun because it's really a nice place and we've been happy here. And y'all, we've stayed at a lot of cabins. We go to cabins twice a year, if not more. So we know our cabins. Anyways, I will see you guys later. If you're just stumbling on this vlog, this is also our vlogging channel for our family. We post daily vlogs, not daily. We post day in the life vlogs. I do mommy chats. We just kind of talk about random mommy stuff. And random's kind of the big thing for this channel. It's random. Like whatever tickles my fancy is what I put on here. I'm also a blogger. You can find our family blog at hangingwiththehueys.com. You can find us on Instagram at Kendra underscore Huey, Periscope Kendra underscore Huey. We are everywhere. We love to connect with you. So if you're new to our channel, we'd love to have you subscribe and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Let's listen to this rain for a little bit, shall we?